um uh my nephew basically who was married out of wedlock um is mm. he my mahrum when he reaches the age of puberty wait a minute you've mixed two things together you said he's your nephew correct yes yes but you also said that out of wedlock yes but so he was born out of wedlock so basically my brother oh. had him at a young age and I we see. raised him since he was a baby because his mum was um, not Muslim at the time. And then she yeah. basically did um, revert to Islam, but then she, uh, she had issues with her family and she obviously went back to her old ways. So then that um, resulted in us having to take him back in. And Bye. we have been the taking care of scholars, The scholars are of the view that a child who was born out of wedlock, fact number one, he or she are not blameworthy. Alhamdulillah. This is not the issue. No bearer of a sin should bear the sin of another. Fact number two. It doesn't establish mahramiya nor inheritance. Why? Because this child was not born due to a valid marriage. Rather, because of a woodlock. So that means... He is your nephew because, or biologically. But when it comes to the relationship, he's not your mahram. He's not your mahram. And he's not one of the heirs, even from his father, because he was born out of good luck. Unless if the father appoints certain amount of money out of the inheritance for him. This is just to further explain to you, it is not only about the mahram relationship, but it is also about bearing the name, it's about the inheritance, and so on. May Allah guide us to what is best. So he's not your mahram currently, Sister 